Okay, an ideal gas at 20 degrees Celsius and a pressure of 1.5 exponent 5 Pascal is in a container having a volume of 1 liter. Okay, determine the uh, number of moles of gas in the container. Okay, so first of all, what do we have? Okay, let's identify what information is given. So we have the temperature here and be careful, the unit is uh, degree Celsius. Uh, remember in this chapter, uh, kinetic theory of gas, uh, all, the, uh, all the quantity you have to change to SI unit. Okay, you have to change to SI unit like pressure in Pascal, the volume in meter cube. Uh, the temperature must be in Kelvin, not degree Celsius. Okay. Uh, the mass kilogram, the molar mass is kilogram per mole. So the temperature you must change to Kelvin. Do not remain in degree Celsius. Yeah, um, that's very important. So this uh, degree Celsius you have to change to Kelvin. Uh, okay, change to Kelvin. So and then uh, here we have pressure. Okay, we have pressure here uh, in Pascal already. Okay, it's SI unit. Uh, in a, it's in a container having a volume, so this is a volume. Okay, volume. Uh, this one also uh, not SI unit. You have to change to uh, meter cube. Okay, you have to change to meter cube. Uh, okay. Uh, so and then we want to find the number of moles. Uh, okay. So what uh, formula we are going to use for this one for question A? Uh, so. Uh, PV equal to nRT, yeah. Uh, PV equal to nRT. That's 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 the formula. PV equal to nRT. Uh, okay. But first of all, we need to change the temperature. Temperature into Kelvin. So we have a uh, twenty degrees Celsius. So to to change to Kelvin, we plus two seven three two seven three. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, then we will have a uh, uh, two seven three uh, plus twenty, which is 293 Kelvin 293 Kelvin Okay Alright So uh, And then how about the volume Also we have to change to SI unit So the volume is in liter uh, 1 liter uh, We know that 1 liter is actually 1 dm cube uh, Okay 1 dm cube So That's C This is that's C So that's C is exponent negative 1 so after you cube it, it becomes uh, exponent negative 3. Okay? Uh, because we know uh, that C is actually exponent negative 1. And uh, now you uh, cube it. Uh, you cube it, so you get uh, exponent negative 3. Uh, meter cube. Okay? Uh, so uh, we already have uh, all in SI unit already. Uh, so you just put into the formula. Okay? Pascal is already SI unit. Okay? Uh, so all right let's do it yeah okay so uh, pressure is a uh, 1.5 exponent uh, exponent 5 pascal and then volume is a uh, 1 exponent negative 3 meter cube and then we want the number of moles okay uh, r is actually 8.31 yeah uh, r is a uh, molar gas constant or Rieberg constant, it is 8.31. Uh, okay, so 8.31. And then temperature in Kelvin, yeah? Remember, this temperature must be uh, in Kelvin, uh, in SI unit. Okay, so 293 Kelvin. Yeah, you put in degree Celsius, then you are wrong, yeah? So be careful. Okay, so let's calculate the answer. Yeah, let's get our answer. Uh, okay. So our mole, our number of mole is uh, 0 0.0616, uh, 0 0.60616 moles. Okay, uh, that's the answer. So the answer is uh, 6.16 exponent negative 2. Uh, that's correct. Okay. Now, uh, question B. Yeah, let's look at question B. Uh, the gas pushes against a piston. Expanding to twice the original volume while pressure falls to atmospheric pressure. Find the final temperature. Okay, so this is already second condition. Yeah, if you look at here, uh, this is already the second condition. 
uh, whereas here is the first condition. Uh, so you can actually use, um, you know, uh, what's constant is the number of moles. Yeah, the number of moles of gas is a uh, constant. Uh, it is, is a constant because uh, it is still in the same container. Yeah, it is still inside the same container. Uh, the gas pushes a piston, so the, the amount of gas is still the same. The amount of gas is still constant. Uh, so the number the number of moles, uh, the number of moles is constant. Okay. Uh, so actually we can use back this equation uh, to do. Okay, one way to do it is uh we can um uh we can actually use a formula, you know. Uh, this is the second condition, so we can put as P two V two. Okay, because we have different, as you can see, we have different. Uh, we have different volume, twice the volume, and then pressure also we change to uh, atmospheric pressure. Find the final temperature. So, uh, we have uh, uh, that's why we have T two temp. Uh, no, no, no. This is the uh, volume. Uh. So we have the second volume. We have the second pressure, uh, and also uh, we want to find the final temperature T two. Okay. Whereas uh, initially, uh, this one is uh, E one. This one is P one, and this is V one. You understand? Ah, this is uh, P one, uh, P one, V one, T one. So, so this is the first condition, and then now we have the same amount of gas. Okay, the amount of gas is still the same. Okay, the amount of gas is still the same. So n it n is constant. Okay, what changes is the volume, uh, the pressure, so the temperature also change. Okay, this is the second condition. So actually we can use the formula, you know, uh, because because we know that uh, okay, let me write it out. So ju just now we we know that this is uh, P1, uh, V1, and T1. Uh, you see that? For question A is P1, V1, T1. Okay. Uh, and then for question B is actually second condition. Uh, we want to find uh, we have the pressure, volume, temperature change already. Only the number of mole is the same. Uh, only the number of mole is the same. All the others are uh, changed, has already changed. Uh, so to compare with these two formula, actually we can uh, combine them. We can get we can use another formula, which is um I can write it down here. Can also use this formula p1 v1 over t1 uh, equal to p2 v2 over t2 uh, this is what we call ideal gas law uh, ideal gas law uh, so we can also use this formula to find the you know to find the final temperature which is uh, t2 you understand uh, we can find use this formula to find the uh, temperature 2 so we just substitute all the p1 v1 t1 we already have all the, the values and then uh, now he say the volume has uh, increased twice uh, pressure fall to atmospheric pressure uh, then we substitute the value here we can find the temperature 2 okay uh, but since uh, we also can use back this formula p v equal to nrt and to find we use back the value the number of moles also can yeah also can so either way, yeah, there are two ways to do it. So okay, uh, first of all, uh, what is the uh, the pressure? Pressure two. Uh, pressure he say falls to atmospheric pressure. So what is actually atmospheric pressure? Let's uh, check. Uh. atmospheric pressure. Okay, what atmospheric pressure is actually uh, one expo uh, one point zero one exponent five Pascal. Ah, this is atmospheric pressure. 1 atmospheric pressure is 1.01 .01 exponent 5 pascal. Just write it down. Okay. Uh, P2, just now the P2. Uh, the P2 here is uh, 1 atmospheric pressure. Okay. 1 atmospheric pressure. So we must, uh, but we must change it to, um, you know, change it to SI unit. Atmospheric pressure is uh, non SI unit. So let's change first, the, the, change it. So uh, atmospheric pressure. Uh, atmospheric pressure is a uh, one P two is one one atmospheric pressure which is one point zero one. Uh, sorry, 
1.01 exponent 5 Pascal. Ah, okay. So already in SI unit. Yeah. So okay, now let's continue. Uh, the pressure is uh, 1.01 exponent uh, 5 Pascal. Okay, it's already an SI unit. And then how about the volume? Volume also you must... Uh, oh, it said twice the original volume. Twice the original volume. So become... Um, so so the, the, we can say the V2 is twice V1. Yeah? Uh, two times V1. Yeah, because expand to twice the original volume. So V2 is two times V1. So just multiply two. Two multiply. Uh, the original volume is one exponent negative three. Uh, which is uh, one liter uh, or one dn cube, yeah, which is one exponent negative three meter cube. So we multiply two, multiply two, uh, exponent negative three meter cube already in SI unit, okay. And then the number of moles still remain the same, okay, because the same amount of gas, okay. I drag a little bit there, uh, never mind, this one drag a little bit over there, okay, give some space for me. And number of moles is 0 0.0616. The, val the R value is uh, 8.31. Uh, find the, sec the temperature for second condition. Uh, so what's the answer? What's the answer? Ah, uh, okay. So the temperature I got is uh, 394.61 Kelvin. Ah, uh, that's... And the Kelvin, uh, not degree Celsius, uh, uh, in SI unit, uh, Kelvin. So is that co correct? Uh, 395.78, a little bit different. Okay, probably because, uh, probably because, okay, but it's correct, because I used the correct answer. Uh, probably because this one a little bit different, because maybe he just assumed that uh, uh, 1 exponent 5 Pascal. Uh, let me check, let me check. Okay, I know what's different, yeah? I know why why the answer is different a little bit, okay? Um, okay, so the difference is the this value, uh, yeah? The atmospheric pressure. Uh, the atmospheric pressure, actually, it is, um, uh, yeah, according to the list of constant value, yeah? Uh, given in the exam, list of constant, you must always use back the constant value given in the exam sheet, yeah? Uh, yeah, given in the exam. So, you must use this value here. Uh, one atmospheric pressure is actually, one, one atmospheric pressure is actually 1.013 exponent 5 Pascal. Ah, so, I miss out the 3 here. So, remember, uh, you must use the value given in the a list of constant in the exam okay uh, don't simply just use the value in your calculator or somewhere else yeah so it's a 1.013 i miss out the three here okay so this one uh, okay i need to put in the three here i need to put in a three here so it is it is supposed to be 1.013 ah this one huh this bad this three here uh, uh, then uh, this answer, then only I will get the answer, uh, which is um, uh, which is a uh, three nine, sorry, three nine five point seven eight point seven eight Kelvin. Ah, that's the answer. So is it correct? Is the answer correct? Three nine five point seven eight. Uh, three nine five point seven eight. Ah, that's correct. Yeah. That's correct. Okay, so uh, that's it. Yeah, remember this. Uh, this. Uh, this part you must change to Kelvin. Uh? The temperature must change to Kelvin. Uh, unlike the previous chapter uh, about change of temperature, uh, this is not change of temperature. This is a, a single temperature. You understand? Single temperature. All must be in Kelvin. Uh, all must be in Kelvin. Yeah. Uh, last time I did tell you. Okay. Uh, for this uh, single temperature, uh, must be in Kelvin, yeah, uh, Kelvin. Uh, last time we learned about heat conduction and thermal expansion. That one involved change of temperature. A uh, change of temperature, uh, we have double temperature. Uh, this one you can either put degree Celsius or Kelvin. Uh, yeah, this one no need, not necessary to change to Kelvin. Yeah, you 
can maintain as degree Celsius or Kelvin because the the change of one degree Celsius is equivalent to the change of one Kelvin. Okay, uh, so this one different. Huh? This one you can maintain as degree Celsius or Kelvin, but for for this part, yeah, when you're using the formula P we could NRT, P we could NKT, all the temperature here, yeah, like Charles Law, Boyle's Law. This one are uh, temperature, single temperature, single temperature. All this temperature, temperature here, you must choose in Kelvin. Degree Celsius not accepted. Okay, must add mean here Kelvin. Okay, so that's all for these questions. See you in the next video.